Watch you guys today we're taking a look at how to turn any PC into a Steam Deck. Now we've got a mini PC here from B-Link. It's got a Ryzen 9 processor in here. It has a pretty good uh, Vega GPU in here. So we're going to be using this and run Steam Deck OS on here. Now I've shown you how to create this in a previous video. So check out my playlist for that and how to do it. But basically this is a little mini PC. We're going to be running it all on here. And I'll show you how to do it. Now you can install this also on a laptop or an old desktop, maybe a Dell Optiplex or something along those lines. Depending on what you want to install it on, you can use that same method. Now I will be installing uh, SteamOS on a small form factor PC with an RX 6400 on it, and you'll be able to see it play a lot of games. But I also wanted to show you on something like this little device here, which is a mini PC called a GTR from B-Link. It's a pretty powerful Ryzen 9 processor on here, but it has a good APU on here, which gives us good graphics, Vega graphics, so we can actually use SteamOS on here. Now, of course, it's going to have some sort of restriction because of the type of GPU we have to play with. But I just want to show you the power of this mini PC and how good Hollow ISO is. So head over to GitHub. I'll leave the link in the video description and it will take you to this website. You can read the whole article here and it'll explain exactly what hollow iso is and what it actually does now i'm not going to be showing you how to create the actual iso because i've already made a video on that so check my playlist on how to uh, create an iso with uh, steam os on there so you can install it onto any device you like so what i'm going to do is show you where you can get it downloaded and you can go ahead and watch my previous video but i wanted to show you some of the gameplay here and what you can actually do with this on this little mini PC, because that's what people requested. Okay, so let's boot up to our mini PC, and you can see we've got our Steam OS installed here. I can choose uh, some of these games to install and play, and some of them are going to work better than others. And again, you can check some of the settings out here. I'm going to go ahead and get one of these installed on the system, and we'll give it a go. I'm only going to give you like free games so you can get an idea and see how smooth it is. Now this game is called Wreckfest, and uh, it's a pretty good game if you've never played it before. But you can get this on the Steam library. And again, once you've signed in, you'll be able to play all your Steam games. And this is running on that mini PC. It's absolutely amazing to think that how far technology has come with things like this. That little mini PC is driving this game, and I'm playing it right now and it's silky smooth as you can see here no problems whatsoever playing wreckfest and you can have hours of fun playing on something like this now if you've got a piece of old hardware lying around with a say maybe a small form factor pc like a dell optiplex or something like that and you've got a a small gpu in there you could use that for something like this and play all your steam games on it and it will be absolutely awesome and you would have silky smooth gameplay just like this. Now, remember, this has got an APU in it. This one has the Ryzen 9 50 uh, 900HX. So it's the slightly older model uh, than the 6900HX, which has slightly better graphics than this one. This has 2100 megahertz, whereas the newer ones are uh, 2400 megahertz. So you can still handle it. And uh, again, we're going to be looking at Mafia 2 here. And uh, again, this is silky smooth, as you can see here. No problems whatsoever. Now, I think the impressive part is the actual mini PC that we're playing this on. This is a, literally a small mini PC with uh, onboard graphics, and it's handling this no problem at all. Yes, we're not running super high resolution here, but it's still an enjoyable experience. And if you've got an old Dell Optiplex or an old HP system, and you've got a, a reasonable GPU in there, again, you could easily install this operating system on there and basically play games on your Steam library on them, and it should play really well. So all in all, I think this is a really good uh, test we're doing here with this mini PC. And you probably see a few micro stutters there, and you're going to get that occasionally with some games, uh, especially like The Witcher and stuff. You might have to drop the graphics and uh, shading settings down a little bit to make it run a bit smoother, because this is a uh, mini PC at the end of the day it doesn't have a separate GPU in it it has an APU in here anyway that is going to be about it for this video I hope this video has been some sort of use to you check out my previous video on how to install this onto any PC 
and I'll catch you in the very next video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.